All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today we're in HP Tuners. We're going to talk about the tuning portion of adding the turbo back onto my truck. Um, I'm just going to walk you through what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And actually, it's kind of a fake because I need to get my PCM down here and do some trickery with it. But we'll go through it as if I'm actually doing it so that you can follow along if you're going from an NA to a... Uh, a boosted application so here is my current tune that's what this is what's in the truck right now um, we can go up here to the engine and the general tab and see it's a six liter um, go to the transmission for a lady no neutral safety switch blah 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 um, if you click over to the system you can see the vats none that's all you have to do to disable that is click that and then you know right vehicle and you're done if you have a stock swap but there's other videos on the channel this video will be in a tuning playlist and you can look back and see some of the other more basic stuff there's some tuner pro stuff as well PCM hammer um, if you're starting from nothing start down there watch those first um, here I'm going to go ahead and apply what's called an OS modification to it. HP Tuners offers these uh, different PCMs have different ones. If you click this OS system it'll tell you what's available for you. This RTT means real-time tuning so you can actually make changes in real time and then if you like them you can stop and write them. So this is speed density real-time tuning so there's no mass airflow in this there's a speed density 2 bar real time tuning there's a speed density 3 bar without real time tuning because um, the PCM can't handle all the functions at once and there is a 1 bar math enhanced real time tuning um, I prefer the 2 bar map I'm only going to run 14 PSI or so it's all my turbo is capable of doing so even if it ran it, it actually ran 15.2 in the past um, but that's okay I'll we'll get into that I'll show you why I don't like the three bar though um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this it gives you this little thing basically what you do is you save it as some other name which we'll do three bar here and then you close it and that's all you do immediately then reopen it now, when you go to your engine tab and you go to your airflow and you go to your VE, which is where all the fueling changes are, you see that this goes up to 320 kPa, which is 3 bar, which is 21 psi. Um, because 1 bar is 14.7, that's what you have anyway. 2 bar would go up, so 1 bar is technically 0 at sea level. It's the natural pressure of the atmosphere. And two bar would be 14.7 PSI in addition to the 14.7 we're all under anyway. And then three bar would be another 14, 28, 29, whatever. I'm not doing the math, don't care. On the left you can see where the way these scale is 20, 20, 20, uh, this one's 20 all the way up, which is not bad, but it starts down here 10, 10, 10, and then it starts to jump in 20, 20, 20. So there's not a lot of definition sometimes, and you can get into a situation where you go, you know, see here it goes from 75 to 92. Um, maybe you really need, you know, at 150 to be at 85. It kind of interpolates, but it's a little bit of a mess. Um, and that's one area where your hollies and your micro squirts and your mega squirts and all the standalones, you can kind of do what you want in that area. Um, I'm going to close this. I'm going to open my running driving tune. I'm going to click on OS again. And I'm going to do two bar real time tuning. And this is what's actually going into my truck. Um, I'm going to save as. Daryl. Two bar. Then we can go up here to engine, airflow, primary VE. Oh, didn't follow my own directions. You gotta close it, you gotta reopen it. 
Then you can go to engine airflow and see how it only goes up to 210 now, but it's 10 kPa every step of the way. So you actually are able to hit that 150 um, and make it what you want here. Which is pretty helpful when, when you're trying to dry, dial in some uh, drivability. So next up, I'm going to go over to my fuel and I'm going to go to my injector data, flow rate versus KPA. So these are this is set at 33 because uh, I had flex inject or I have flex injectors in it, but we are going to set it now at 100 because Snake Eater 100s are going into it. So. Then you follow through the rest of this, um, this information, this information comes with your injector. So like whatever you got, that's what you put in here. Um, I'm going to go over to spark. I'm going to go into my high octane table and this is set on Fukushima right now. Uh, 17 degrees of spark out here at high RPM, high boost it is going to melt shit. Um, just globally, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take away five degrees and you have to do more. So negative five and then plus, um, you have to do more tuning once you get it to run, but I need it to run right now. So I'm going to go into my low octane to table and I'm going to do the same thing. there and we never uh, well we get in the negative timing sometimes that's weird but you'll never be in those conditions anyway that's one thing to understand about these maps is you like never are you idling at 800 rpm at one gram of air mass it's just not a thing that's happening um, what else do we got to do here airflow we looked at this is an ins this is going to be pig, pig, piggy rich, um, but that's okay. I'm going to let it roll. I don't even care. That's what a wide band's for. I have one. You should have one if you're doing turbo stuff. Uh, idle. What's my base idle at? About 900. That's okay. my idle airflow at kind of high yeah I'm gonna leave it alone uh, that's it I, this will get Daryl started with a turbo with boost um, and you'll see it in the mechanical portion of the video so it's pretty much that easy to do an OS modification on these things uh, it's not super hard it's, and then once you do you have real-time tuning and uh, you know a bigger map and that's all that is if I haven't explained I don't think I did so when you go in our main VE table you know you get up to the stock one goes up to like 105 um, when you're in boost you're here at 110 and above this is where you're at in boost and then you're you're not in boost at 400 rpm but you are in boost you know over here um, 2400 2000 5000 this is the area where you're actually building boost seeing boost which is how I know these numbers this is a hundred and two percent of my hundred pound injectors um, that is flowing so without so say that I went to 16 or 17 psi I was just off of this it's okay you just kind of make it really really rich right here and just kind of yeet and it'll carry through um, if you're gonna go to you know 18 19 20 then you're gonna want to start tuning but a couple pounds not gonna matter with the GT 45 though I'm not gonna be able to exceed it anyway and that's fine because 600 tires way more than the street can hold anyway um, so that's it that's how you do OS modifications and do basic tuning to get your turbo truck to start 
you guys will see this on the channel next week. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.